Want to be a guest on a future episode of Create, Build, and Manage Daily? Email us at interviews at biztv.com. Mo Siddiqui is the co-founder and managing director of technology for NetGenius, a managed services and security provider. And he's joining me in studio tonight. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. No, we appreciate your time. You know, when I think about technology, which is your space, it is always changing. How do you keep on top of it for your clients? Yeah, so for myself, it's a lot of reading, constantly checking briefs, getting new information from different vendor partners, uh, tracking security incidents, uh, outages. It's a never-ending game for me. So just like other industries, you have to have constant uh, continuing education. This is a very similar industry where we always are learning new things and you just have to stay on top of it. Otherwise, it can definitely pass you by. Well, I think with security more than anything, though, I mean, it's like you have to stay a step ahead um, of a lot of people. Yes. It's not just one person that's always trying to hack. It's always multiple people, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not just people, too. Sometimes it's automated computers whose jobs nothing to do but to hack you. So you're not just fighting against other people. You're also defending against automated machines that are trying to break into the system as well. Well, that's... I would lose sleep, Mo, if I had, if I had uh, your job. <laughs> it can be a little racking, but it's a very rewarding career. I do promise you there. I, I, well, and what's unique is your background as a company. You know, when I look at y'all's experience and what you and Ben and the entire team brings to the table is unique. Talk about your background before you started this company. Yeah, so I actually got my start at my first IT job when I was 14 years old. Uh, it's a municipality in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And they used to actually send a police car to pick me up and take me to work oh, that's uh, after school was done. I wasn't even old enough to drive at the time. Wow. So while I was there, uh, I met Ben Singleton there and, uh, you know, saw his worth ethic as a detective and how thorough he was. And I knew a lot of those skills could apply in the industry that we're in. Fast forward a few years later, we had a few different startups that we were partners at. And after we exited those startups, we ended up at Nagenius and providing our services to people. I love the combination because you bring that engineering mindset you've been doing, as you mentioned, since you're 14. Yep. And then Ben's got the law enforcement. What do you specialize in? Who are your clients? So our clients can range from a variety of different uh, industries. Our, our main vertical that we target is government. However, we do have quite a few different customers in the banking financial services industry. We have customers in the medical industry as well, and then just general business. So we're not particularly siloed into one organization or one facet or one style of client, but there are certain ones that we specialize more in because there's a lot of regulatory environments and uh, schemas that we have to stay on top of. Yeah, when you're dealing with business, there's a lot of sensitive information and Absolutely. medical is the same way. I want to put your website up for those who are watching tonight. Sure. It is netgeniusinc.com, exactly yes. how it's spelled, netgeniusinc.com. The nature, Mo, of IT, um, because of the uh, just how secure and the information you're dealing with, What's the thought process when you bring on somebody new to your team? It can't be just hiring anybody. There has to be a whole right. process, right? So we actually vet them quite a bit when they're coming on. So because of our government clients that we do service, we have to go through an FBI criminal background check just to even be allowed to work with our customer. So because of that, our other clients benefit from that kind of stringent uh, background check that we do. And with that, uh, we also utilize different uh, tests that we run our people through. So we make sure that the people that we hire, we're very picky about who we hire and we want the best because we want to do the best for our customers. Makes sense. Totally makes sense. All right. So we're coming to the end of the year. 2023 is right around mm -hmm. the corner. What are some things that business leaders should be thinking of as it relates to security and IT sure. heading into the new year? Yeah. So. It being winter time, uh, if you recall the ice storm that we had in 2021, uh, that was quite a catastrophe for our electrical grid, of course. And based on how your servers or your systems uh, reacted through the entire process of losing power, you could easily lose all your data. 
So one of the biggest recommendations I make on a daily basis to people and businesses is to make sure that your backups are absolutely airtight. And what do I mean by that? I mean, test them. Actually make sure that what your IT provider or IT department is saying is in parity of what the backup should be. Have a tabletop exercise. Actually have a disaster simulated and spin up a test environment and make sure that it indeed looks like what your business needs. Because if you lose your data, which you know that's the crown jewel of a lot of businesses, without the data to support your customers, I mean, what's left if you don't have the data that your customers are needing access to or you're using to sell to your customers? You know, there's been a lot of in the news recently of um, email uh, servers going down, rack space. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know a company that just totally lost all access to emails for an entire week. Yeah. That's incredibly devastating. Is there anything businesses can do when you outsource um, your email to Rackspace? Mm -hmm. What could they have done that maybe would have helped them in the interim while Rackspace was getting everything back up? Yeah, so Rackspace is a great example. Um, for those who don't know, they had a security incident that took basically their entire network infrastructure down and on there was email servers. Uh, a lot of customers that we have, we have business continuity, disaster recovery uh, steps in place where we have filters that will sit in front of your email server. So if your server goes down, you have an emergency way to communicate with your customers through these portals. So have some kind of spam filter archive service in front that allows you to have that kind of disaster recovery built in where you can actually communicate with your customers if your mail server, you know, whether it's security incident or a power outage, what have you, it's down. You at least have a way to stay connected to the people that you need to serve. My friend was telling me that we don't realize how much we used our technology until we lost it. That's right. And That's so, so you're in the business of really helping. It's almost like you're an insurance policy. If I can describe it that way, I'm not kind saying you're insurance. Yes. But it's like, you know, having net genius on my side gives me that peace of mind that I'm not going to lose business because of power outages or technology. Sure. And we, we really are the last stop if there is an incident because of the services that we're providing to our customers. We have the ability to rebuild them from zero, and whether it's a fire, mm. a tornado, uh, server equipment failing at two in the morning. I mean, there's different scenarios that we plan for. There and you go. that's what we're making sure we well, take Mo, care of. I appreciate you coming in and kind of sharing that knowledge with us. And the website, again, if you're interested in reaching out to Mo and learning more is netgeniusinc.com. Again, netgeniusinc.com. Stick around. This is Create, Build, and Manage Daily.